On August 18th, Strikeforce Bantamweight Champion and 2008 Olympic Bronze Medalist Ronda Rousey will defend her belt against the former Bantamweight Champion 15-1 Sarah Kaufman. Ronda Rousey as a fighter is extremely competitive. She comes in, she comes in shape, she's cocky and she wants to win at all costs and she wants to win fast. Ronda Rousey is very impressive, you know, she has a lot of different tools. Um, she's of course got great judo. She's got great grappling and her striking is ever improving, so she uh, offers a lot of problems that we have to overcome. The uh, typical matchup that everybody's going to expect is that Ronda's going to run at Sarah, try to take her down an armbar, and uh, Sarah's just going to, in turn, try to punch her in the face as much as possible. You know, that's what makes a fight. Who's going to impose their will on the other? I don't talk other girl fighters. Like, I think Ronda's actually a tremendous athlete, but I do think that Sarah Kaufman is the superior fighter, and I think it's going to show on August 18th. Ronda Rousey is not the best female fighter in the world. I mean, she has this fight with Ronda Rousey now, and Ronda Rousey is the title holder. But I think after that fight, Sarah's going to reestablish her as the top dog at 135. Granted, she's had, uh, you know, all of her wins by armbar in the first round, but, you know, she hasn't fought me until she fights me. She's not number one. Ronda Rousey challenged for the bantamweight title in March this year against then-champion Misha Tate. Rousey was able to solidify her claim to the title with her sharp tongue and relentless provocation of Tate. I really think that Ronda got into Misha's head. She really focused on Misha's psyche and Misha played right into that. And I think that it affected how Misha fought. She fought um, out of passion and out of emotion rather than out of uh, logic and a game plan. I really don't think that uh, you know, Ronda's gonna be able to get into her head. The, the, the game isn't the same uh, as it was with Misha. I don't think the pre-fight warfare that Ronda is so good at will be a, a big factor with, uh, with Sarah. Sarah Kaufman is a very smart individual. She knows uh, what's happening and why it's happening. And so uh, understanding that will be a, a, a big kind of roadblock for those mental games getting to her. 100% she's the bully and that's what she wants. She wants people to be afraid of her. I'm not afraid of her. I'm going to fight her. I think it is going to be a mental battle, obviously, but it's also going to be um, not only who can control the fight, but who can deal in the other person's realm. It's, it's much easier to function in a grappling realm a lot of times than it is in a striking realm if you're not used to it. So uh, we'll see how, how Ronda reacts to Sarah's striking, and we'll see how Sarah is able to deal with uh, Ronda's judo. On the undercard, where Rousey defeated Tate for the bantamweight title, Sarah Kaufman defeated Alexis Davis in a frenetic brawl. Sarah Kaufman is unbelievably tough. She's one of those women that uh, she'll just keep coming. I mean, you can bash her, you can smash her, and uh, she actually enjoys fighting so much and doesn't mind getting hit at all. So uh, when the fight's on, you're, you're not going to break her. She's, she's a, a woman that uh, fights possessed, if you will. She, she really enjoys just getting in there, fighting. If you hit her, if you don't hit her, it's all the same to her. Well, I like to get hit, and I think in having that, and having that ability to know that you can take a punch and know you can stand there, take a punch, take a leg kick, take a kick to the face, uh, it doesn't matter what hits you, you're going to keep standing and you're going to keep coming forward. And that is hard on someone, it's hard on their psyche because if you hit them as hard as you can, they don't move, they don't flinch, that's, that's terrifying. Sarah Kaufman's lone defeat came at the hands of former champion Marluz Kunin. In the third round of her second title defense, Kaufman lost her bantamweight title via armbar. It's fight logic right there. You know, uh, I lost to Marlous by armbar. Misha beat Marlous by submission. Ronda beat Misha by armbar, so of course she's gonna armbar me. Obviously because she lost to an armbar by Marlous, everybody thinks, oh man, she's gonna lose by an armbar again. But she's fought a lot of great grapplers. She's never been armbarred before Marlous. You know, uh, I actually think that was a Sarah mistake. And uh, so, you know, I'm not worried about this fight. That's certainly a, a very large possibility that, uh, that Rhonda can get Sarah in armbar. She's lost that before, but I think that when you lose to something, you never want to lose to it twice. And I think that uh, Sarah is going to do her homework and, and study and understand you know, what happened in her last fight that she got armbarred in and uh, make sure that it never happens again. Uh, you know, I, I'm not stupid, uh, but if I was, I have enough fans telling me that I should look out for armbars, that I'm aware that I could get armbarred. And, of course, I'm training that in practice. I'm training it with my coach, Adam Zujek. Of course, we're drilling it. Uh, you know, you have to be smart when you're a fighter, when you know that someone's really strong at something. Just as she's going to be trying to work out how to not get punched in the face, 
I'm trying to make sure that I don't get caught in that armbar. I think Ronda Rossi does have a really good armbar. I think she's uh, a really strong starter. Uh, Ronda Rousey starts to fight really fast. She comes out to fight right away, and I think that definitely takes a lot of people off guard. So there's a combination of her skills and uh, the way she attacks a fight that allows her to armbar people. So um, yeah, we're gonna defend some armbars. We're ready. She's gonna try to armbar. Okay. On August 18th, I expect a very, very tough fight. You know, obviously, uh, Ronda's very, very skilled. Um, she's mentally very strong as well. You know, she's been raised competing, so she knows how to fight, she knows how to compete. And I expect an all-out war. I think Ronda's gonna be intimidated by the fact that she can't impose her will on Sarah, and she can't get in Sarah's head. Dana White's come out and said that Ronda's a rock star, and there's no one else in the division other than Ronda. There's no other women. And as of August 18th, He's going to know differently because I'm going to have that title. Booyah!